payments for the Sigurashini and um I'm gonna do a review um Love My Hip Hop Atlanta episode two. Okay. Well unfortunately I missed episode one so I'm just not watching episode two. Okay. I just want y'all to check out my makeup. No blue and white, nothing special, just casual lip gloss. Yep. And my new my new um mark makeup kit came today. So I'm excited. This has my makeup brush. So I finally have some new makeup brush because I previously did a video where I did ghetto makeup where I used my fingers. So I finally got my makeup brush. And yay! Finally purchased my Mark makeup brush set from Yvonne. I do sell Yvonne. Go to my website. The link will be below. Okay. First I have to say. Okay. Let's start with Mimi because that's what caught my eye, Mimi. So Mimi is um, Stevie J baby mother, okay? And um Jocelyn is Stevie J mistress. Okay? So it's weird to me because the um and he, Stevie J is not that cute to be honest. How he pulling all these chicks, I don't know. He's not that cute. Cause first of all, he been dating um he been dating um what's her name? Been there and Mimi for like I'm not sure if they're married or that's just his baby mama. But I know they've been together a long time. So if they're not married, girl, you stupid for putting up with all this bull crap, all this sideline chicks, all the people he messing with. It's ridiculous. If y'all ain't married and you put up with all that bull crap, all these females he's sleeping with just because y'all got a daughter together, girl, you better leave his sorry ass and go get your own job and stop depending on his million dollars. Go get your own money. That's the way I see it. Because it makes no sense to keep putting up with this child for this cheating nonsense. And there's so many guys out here. If you like guys in the industry, there's so many other guys out there in the industry that you could be with besides TVJ. Now, Jocelyn's supposed to be pregnant with TVJ. I mean, come on now. He messing around his baby mama, and he don't even have the good sense to use protection. How stupid, dumb, and lame is that? I mean, if you're going to cheat, be smart. You know? Y'all been, you've been with your baby mother a long time, and now you're cheating on her. You got another girl pregnant. She said he's the only one she's been messing with for the last six months. So, when I heard that, it was ridiculous. I just... Uh, that's just ridiculous. And Erica a little scrappy. Okay. I don't know what the deal is. Because it seems like they not together, but they is together. Like, they on again, off again. And a little scrappy. Now he want to get his own apartment. Boy, please. You know you don't got no money. Don't front for these cameras on VH1. You don't have no money. How long it been since you made a song? Boy, please. You don't got no money. So you better live with your baby mama. Because you know you don't have no money to get your own apartment. I mean, I guess with the, v with the check VH1 cutting you, you can get your apartment. So now he want to get his own out so he can mess with whoever he wants to but still come back to Erica. Girl, you need just to get about him. So what? You've been through a lot with your mother and drugs and everything. You don't have to put up with little scrappy bull crap. Find somebody else and cut him loose. Find somebody else and tell him goodbye. I'm on my new shit. Goodbye. Okay. And then, what was that girl's name? You know the girl who came in the studio and Jocelyn was sitting there and she came in and asked to Stevie J and they was arguing back and forth and everything? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and, um, oh my gosh. See? Um, Mimi, she kind of know. She kind of know, um, Stevie J messing with Jocelyn. But either, I think she, I don't know if she refusing to believe it or she just don't want to believe it. But now she asking for 20%. She getting 10 from, she getting 10 from all this artists and 10 from him. So now she getting 10%. So, that's interesting. Girl, I would get 90% and he get 10. All that thing you got to put up with. He get 90 and you get, you get 90% and he get 10%. So, you'll be making all the money. All that cheating and bull crap you got to put up with? Girl, please. 10%? 20% is generous. Shit. He would have been happy to me. 50% or 90% and he get 10. Please. Okay, so now um, Mimi going to be the, the she's going to be like the manager too with Stevie J. So they're going to be the managers and do everything together. So... 
<laughs> Mimi broke that news to Jocelyn. She was like, oh, this one's like, I'll please, I don't have to listen to her. Who she thinks she is? She not the boss of anything. She not the boss of anything. She's not the boss of Stevie J. She's not the boss of anything. <laughs> I don't know if I did a good impression of her, but who cares? <laughs> but anyways, I don't know my hip hop is for interest, and I'm gonna keep watching it. You know, give it a chance. You know, so, so far it's good. You know. And then um now now the, there's this girl I can't remember her name, but she wanna do a song with Stevie J. But Stevie J. Don't wanna do a song with her because he's too busy with Jocelyn messing with her, doing her and all that crap. So he too busy to do a song with other girl. But Mimi was like, no, we not losing no money. We not turning down no money. Whoever wanna work with you, gonna work with them. You are not just gonna focus on Jocelyn. Basically, that's what she said. So that was really interesting to me. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this show is so crazy. <sighs> okay, what else happened? It was kind of short for an hour. Mm, you know, a little beers, drama, 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 arguing. And, and Jocelyn has the nerve to go to the gym and confront that girl. I forgot her name. Damn, what was her name? Go to the gym and confront her saying, she, not, she Jocelyn, not going to let that other girl work with Stevie. I'm like, girl, you the sideline. You better go sit down somewhere, please. You ain't calling no shots. Who you think he is? He's he messing with you. He messing with other people. If he messing with you, he messing with other people too. And it's just dumb. Like she got pregnant by him. How stupid is she? Ain't no year he gotta be mommy day. She wanna cry. And I'm hearing people saying Jocelyn is a dude. Like, is it true? Is this a rumor? Like, I'm confused. Cause she don't. I mean, how can if she a transvestite, like, they can't get pregnant. So she's pregnant. So she has to be a girl. So y'all, yes, yeah, she look like a dude. But just y'all need to drop it. Cause it's no proven fact that she is a transvestite. It's no proven fact. So y'all need to just drop the bullcrap and stop talking about it. Just because people look like a dude, don't make them a dude. Anyways, make sure you watch Love and Hip Hop every Tuesday at, um, I'm sorry, every Monday, 9 o'clock on VH1. I think it's 9 o'clock. And then it replays again at 11. Okay, bye. Bye, y'all. This is my review for Love and Hip Hop Atlanta.